Hi, everyone. Welcome to Tuli Yoga at Home. My name is Jennifer, and I am going to do a short uh, vinyasa practice today, open level, um, anybody can do it, and just a really great energizing routine that you can do really any time of the day. Okay, so we're gonna get started in a seated position. Finding a nice, comfortable position on your mat with your legs crossed. If you have any props, if you have a blanket that you'd like to sit on, um, you're more than welcome, but we don't need to have any props for today's class. So as you start to settle into your seat, just take a moment to roll the shoulders back and down. Closing the eyes and allowing yourself just a moment to Settle in. This might be the first time today that you've been able to pause, to take a moment to connect to your body, to feel your breath. And just feel your body on the ground being supported by the earth. Welcome yourself to your mat, to your practice. And just giving yourself this time to really connect and explore body, mind, and soul. And yoga is the practice of coming home to ourselves, coming back to who we are, our wholeness, our union that is always there, but sometimes we forget. Let's bring one hand to the chest and the other to the lower belly. And just taking a few rounds of our three part yogic breath. Filling up the belly on your inhale, feeling the ribs expand, the chest lift. And as you exhale, emptying that air all the way back down, gently squeezing the belly in and up on your exhalation. So full deep breaths here, in and out through your nose. You can feel the expansion on the inhale. Think of the belly filling up like a balloon. Ribs expand out to the chest. And then on the exhale, chest, ribs come back in, and then belly squeezes in and up. Right, this breathing technique helps to purify the lungs, strengthens the heart. And as we focus our attention and awareness on the breath, we're stimulating the relaxation response which helps to calm and quiet down the mind. Allows us to feel more present, more connected, being in the moment. So when the mind starts to drift and wander to thought during our practice together today, just bring it back to the breath, the sensation of the breath, the rhythm. Let that really be your guide. And then on your next exhale, you can blink your eyes open. Extend the arms out, press out through your fingertips. On your inhale, start to expand the chest. The heart lifts up to the sky, squeeze the shoulder blades together. On your exhale, extend the arms out in front of you, interlace your fingers, draw your chin in towards your chest. Just beginning to warm up the body. Inhale as you expand, lifting the heart, gaze up. And then exhale as you round, lower belly hugs in. We'll take a few rounds just like this, moving with your breath, beginning to awaken the body, 
every single cell. Letting your breath guide your practice, lead the way. Right, always moving with intention, love and acceptance for your body in this moment. We'll meet with the arms extended to a T. Pause there. Really press out through your fingertips. Then flip the palms to the sky. Reach the arms up, interlace your hands, press your palms up, deep breath in. Exhale, we'll come over to the right side. Start to roll the left chest open and maybe look up towards the sky if that feels okay for the neck. Continue to feel the seat rooting down into the earth. Come back to center on your inhale, palms press up. Exhale to the other side. Nice side bend here. Maybe again you look up. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, other side reach. Inhale to center. And exhale, other side. We'll come back to center, inhale, press the palms up. Exhale, take a twist to your right. So one hand comes to your knee or thigh, other hand comes behind your tailbone. Start to look over the shoulder. Crown of the head lifts up to the sky. We'll come back to center on the inhale, arms sweep up overhead, big breath. Exhale to the other side, take that twist. One breath here, and then we'll release it to center. Just take your hands to your knees, draw your chin in, round your back. Take a deep breath in, fill up the belly, roll your shoulders back, and then exhale again and round. Let's make our way right into a tabletop position, coming onto your hands and knees, spreading your fingers nice and wide. Feel as though you're gripping the mat with your hands. And then at the same time, feel that you're twisting your hands to the outer edges of your mat. So you'll find the elbow creases start to turn forward, which will create that external rotation in the upper arms and the shoulders. Keep that gripping of the mat, suction cup in the center of the palm, and that twisting action. Firm your lower belly. Keep the neck long so crown of the head is pressing forward. Extend your right leg back. And then left leg back, coming into a plank pose. So your option right away is to lower your knees if you choose, if this is challenging for you today. Start to press the earth away with your hands so the upper back is rounded slightly. Firming the belly, heels press back. Take one more breath here, you are so strong. And then lift your hips, downward facing dog. Begin to pedal out your feet. So a deep bend in the right knee, in the left knee, just loosening the muscles in the back of your legs. Keeping that external rotation of the shoulders, firming the muscles of the upper arms. Lifting tailbone to the sky. Two more breaths. And then we'll take a really deep bend in the knees. Coming to the balls of the feet, look forward at the top of the mat. Take a really slow walk, forward fold, top of the mat. Bend the knees so much that your rib cage rests on your thighs. Spread your toes wide. So feeling the corners of the feet rooting down into the earth. Hold opposite elbows, ragdoll. Sway your torso from right to left. Let go of any tension, tightness in the jaw, the shoulders, the neck. Can you find a release here? Inhale, lift and lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. You can slide your hands to your shins, press your hips back and squeeze your belly in. Roll your shoulders back. Exhale, bend the knees and fold over the legs again. Deep bend in your knees. We'll roll up one vertebra at a time. Your head is the last thing to come up. Reach the arms all the way up overhead. Palms touch as you look up towards your hands. 
Exhale, hands through heart, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Follow the rhythm of your breath. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen your spine. Exhale and fold. We'll step the right leg back, finding a low lunge. So your back knee will come down. We'll uncurl the back toe. Reach the arms up, finding your balance and strength. Front knee is over the ankle. Lift up from the pelvic floor. Core muscles are strong here, supporting the body. Take a deep breath here. On your exhale, both hands will come down. The right hand will plant. Left arm reaches as you twist. Deep breath in. Exhale, release it. Straighten the front leg. Press your hips back. So I'm like a runner's stretch here. Your left toes point to the sky. Come back into your lunge position. Plant your palms. The left leg will come back, plank pose. Remember, your option is a half plank. Shift forward, hug your elbows in. We're gonna lower all the way to the belly. Tops of the feet will press into the mat. Fingertips come in line with your shoulders. Draw the elbows in, squeeze your belly, peel your chest. Lift the heart for low cobra. Exhale, come back down. Two more, just like that. Core strong. Start to lift your chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hug your elbows in. Exhale, lower. Strengthening your back, opening your chest. Last one. Hold here. Curl your toes. Lift your belly. Lift your thighs. Press into your palms. Find plank. Lift your hips. Strong downward facing dog. Right leg high on your inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw your knee in towards your chest, forehead towards your knee, round your back. Plant your foot, lower your back knee. Sweep the arms up, deep breath in. Exhale, release it down. Left hand plants, right arm up, twist. Inhale, exhale, release. Same thing, runners, stretch, extend. Right leg straight, right toes to the sky. On your exhale, come back to your lunge. Back foot comes forward, top of the mat. Slow in your transition. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees. Take that slow, roll up. Arms sweep up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Interlace all of your fingers except your index finger. Inhale. Exhale over to the right. Side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Come back to center. Inhale, look up. Exhale, hands through heart. Forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Step your left leg back. Find your lunge. Uncurl your toe. Reach arms up. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. You got it. Left hand down, right arm up as you twist. Exhale, release. Straighten front leg, press your hips back. Awakening the whole body. Exhale, come back to your lunge. Plant your palms, plank. Shift forward. This time, maybe you lower halfway for chaturanga. Maybe you come back to the belly. You choose. You can flip the feet right into an up dog or take low cobra again. Stay in your back bend for a breath. Let that feel good. Feel expansion through the chest. Lift the hips, back to down dog. Stay with your breath, left leg high. Exhale, draw your knee in, forehead to knee, plant your foot. Lower your back knee, arms sweep up, deep breath in. Exhale as you release, the right hand down, left arm up, twist. Exhale, straighten the front leg, press your hips back. Come back to your lunge, back foot steps forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, let's hold here in our forward fold. Bring your hands to lower back, chest expander. Interlace your fingers, squeeze your shoulder blades. You can keep a nice deep bend in the elbows. Lift the arms up and over. Any amount, maybe they don't even come off your lower back today. That's okay. 
right? Remember to listen and really tune into what your body needs today. There's no right or wrong. Let your body really be your guide. Let's take a cleansing breath, so a nice release. A deep breath in through the nose, and a big exhale. The hands will release, bend the knees, roll up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, interlace all of the fingers except the index finger. Deep breath in, arms up. Exhale to your left. Back to center, inhale, exhale, other side. Come back to center, deep breath in, open your chest, look up. Exhale, hands through heart, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms and step back to plank, let's hold. Nice and strong in your plank pose. Take your right forearm down, left forearm down. You are strong, connect to your breath. Keep pressing the earth away with your forearms. Keep the muscles in the upper back strong. Breathe here for five, four, three, two. You got this, on one, lower your knees. Extend the legs back and lift your heart, Sphinx pose. Nice gentle back bend here. Start to lift your chest up, the shoulders will roll back. Two more breaths. And on your exhale, come all the way down. Let your right cheek come to the mat. Bend your knees, sway your legs a little side to side. That should feel like a nice release for your lower back. Arms come down by your side. Palms face in towards your body. Forehead will come to the mat. Navel in towards the spine. Lengthen your legs back. Take a full breath here. On the exhale, lift your chest. Roll the shoulders back. Palms face in. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Crown of the head presses forward. Imagine you have a block in between your ankles and then start to lift your legs. Maybe you can lift upper body a little more, legs a little more. Two more breaths. Imagine you're holding a block in between your palms as well. One more breath. Let's release it down. Nice job. Let other cheek come to the mat and just sway your legs side to side again. We'll find a child's pose. Press back, sitting on your heels. Your knees can be wide if you'd like. That feels better for me, so you choose. Knees can be wide or knees can be together. Let your forehead come to the mat. So just take a receiving breath, receiving the benefits of the postures you've done, feeling this beautiful energy flowing, moving in and around your body. Remembering that you have all that you need right inside. Hmm, we'll roll up to a seated position, bringing the legs out in front of you, bringing your hands underneath your thighs. I'm gonna just turn to the side here. So we'll come into Navasana boat pose, a few different variations. So we'll rock back. We'll start with the toes down. This is a great place to start. Squeeze your belly in, lengthen your spine. Find your breath. No unnecessary tension in the jaw, the face, the shoulders. Second option is to lift the legs here. Third option is to release the hands. Last option is to straighten the legs and the hands you choose though. If that's too intense, you come right back here or here, wherever you are. You are so strong and powerful. Find two more deep breaths. You got this, one more breath. 
let's release it. The soles of the feet will connect. Bring the feet out in front of you just a little further. Take a deep breath in. Lift up and lengthen. And your exhale, keep a long spine as you come forward, leading with the chest. Baddha Konasana, bound angle. Your hands can either stay wrapped around your feet or you can curl them. Sorry, take one arm underneath the leg and other arm underneath the leg. And then curl in. Shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. Move your ribs up from your waist so you find a little more length in your spine. And let your exhale take you deeper. One arm will release at a time as you roll yourself up, rolling the shoulders back and down. Extend the legs out in front of you, flex your feet, reach your arms forward. We'll take a slow transition down using the strength of our core to support the back. Draw the chin in, reach the arms forward, take a deep breath in. And your exhale, begin to lower yourself down. Once you land, reach your arms up overhead, full body stretch, like you're waking up in the morning, reach and extend, let that feel good, maybe even a sway side to side, roll your wrists, let out a big sigh on your exhale. Draw your knees in towards your chest, gentle rock from left to right. Keep right knee in, extend your left leg long. Right knee comes across the body for a twist. Turn your gaze to the right. Press your right shoulder back and down. Your left hand is just gently pressing the knee. And if it's comfortable, close your eyes here. Tune in. Come back to center. Nice job, everybody. Hug your knees in, right leg long, left knee comes across your body. So your left foot can either come to the ground or you can hook it to the inside of the thigh. You're looking to your left, left shoulder comes down. You're lengthening the muscles in the lower back and the hip. Also releasing tension in the neck, the shoulders. See if you can deepen your breath here. And then find your way back to center, hugging your knees in towards your chest. Just make big circles here with the knees. And then we'll come into happy baby. So the knees come towards the armpits. This is a nice variation here. If you wanna take this deeper, you'll lift the legs so the ankles stack right over the knees. Your hands can either come right behind the knees or you can reach to bottoms of the feet. And just gently bending the elbows, pulling the knees in. Keep the chin slightly in towards your chest. The back of the neck is lengthened. Tailbone lengthens down towards the earth. Beautiful, let's hug both knees in, lower the feet down, extend the legs long, and release your arms down by your side. Maybe sway the legs a little side to side, turn the head right or left, just any final movements that you'd like to take here. And then we'll settle in for our resting pose, Shavasana. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose, letting out a sigh on your exhale. This is really the most important part of the practice where we allow the body to fully receive all of the benefits, body, mind, and soul. 
And all you have to do is just relax, just be. Let your body on the ground being supported. Your eyes soften. Your lips gently part. Your whole body, every single cell, is relaxed. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, just be. Take a deep breath in, let out a sigh. And keeping your eyes closed, start to make small movements, moving fingers and toes. Mm, Breathing in and out through your nose. You can hug your knees in towards your chest when you're ready and just rock over to your right or left side, coming into the fetal position using your hands to support your neck and your head like a pillow, drawing the knees in close towards your chest and just staying on your side for a moment. So take this moment to notice how you feel, feeling this union, yoga, body, mind, and soul. When we feel that connection within, we then can start to feel that same beautiful connection with everyone and everything around us. It starts with you. Just take another moment here, feeling gratitude for your body and all it does for you on and off the mat. Placing your hands on the ground will lift up to a nice, comfortable seat, just like we started. And bring your hands to your heart center in Anjali Mudra. Closing the eyes for a moment. Knowing that you can remain calm amongst all the things that are happening around you. Yoga is the practice of remembering who we are, coming back to our center, our true nature, and this feeling of balance. It's always here within us. And through our practice, we can connect back to this place more easily. And just taking this feeling out with you into the rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.